Okay, this is Jay. Welcome back to the channel. We're on Mount Kosciuszko. Still travelling south in Coke Canterban. So today we're going to do the major clues and putt trail. That um, is basically one of the only four-wheel drive trails in Mount Kosciuszko that you have access. Of course, no access in winter, too much snow, you wouldn't even get near it. Anyway, if you look at those little yellow flowers on the side, belly buttons, they're, um, they're everywhere on the side of the tracks. Lots of little flowers, um, you can only find belly buttons in Mount Kosciuszko region, never found anywhere else in the world. Anyway, we're um, climbing Alpine Way. If you blink, you might miss the turn off, so it is uh, kind of hidden away here on the left. So, just a heads up if it's been raining or you're coming in after the snow melt. Um, it could be quite boggy. It is very sort of windy and there is some creek crossings as well. Um, that could be quite high. Um, and you may not be able to get across. Other than that, it's uh, quite a scenic drive and you'll enjoy it as much as, as we did. Anyway, it's named after Hugh Powell Gottfried, who served in the British Army as a member of the Sherwood Foresters from 1909 to 1911 and later in the Royal Australian Survey Force from 1912 to 1949. After retiring from the Army with the rank of Lieutenant Colonel, he joined the Snowy Mountains Authority in 1950 as a senior surveyor. Now, he might have been Lieutenant Colonel, but there is no other higher rank in the Royal Australian Army, and they thought he was such a higher officer that he deserved the American rank of Major. So it was more of a term of endearment for what a legend he was. So the track itself is... Um, it's a fairly easy track in the middle of summer, of course, after it hasn't been raining for uh, quite a while in the region. You'll see later on crossing a bit of a runoff, very, very shallow, and then also um, back creek, I think it is. It's very shallow. Comes up to about my axles. The end of the um, trail here. So it's quite a popular four-wheel drive trail and you'll see the the forestry sort of change. Um, the water wasn't in season or anything like that so there wasn't much uh, colour on the bigger trees but you know you're going through like alpine ash kind of forestry so you go quite deep into a valley and then you end up coming out near um, in the Gihe Flats. Um, we camped at Gihe Flats campground and there was like no one there. So I'll drive you through this. I'll shut my mouth and you can enjoy the scenery and, and we get to uh, Major Clue's hut where he used to live.
Oh, it's a sign. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Well, there's a lot of uh, flies in here. There's a bunk. You need to come in. You live here. That would have been where the dunny was. Here's a tap. Everywhere. What? Is there no. I didn't write it, but. Okay. <laughs> I didn't write it. What is the date? Oh. 17th, isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah. That's funny. So if you couldn't read that, it said, Dad shat himself. So someone's uh, having a bit of a laugh there. A few things to note. Um, any of the hut campgrounds, they have no facilities. Um, so you have to be self-sufficient. A little bit about uh, where we're up to on our travels. So we've driven about, I don't know, five, six thousand kilometers at this point in our Melbourne getaway. And I broke power steering uh, pump. And you're grinding away there in the back. That suspension issues uh, needed some welding. And if you were ever out that way, there is uh, very little uh, places to go to get any sort of help. So I did go back to Jindabyne and I was told by a tire power there that it would take about two weeks to get somebody. They rang around, no one had any um, welders available or anything like that. Um, there is a guy that's um, an ARB distributor down there, very helpful if you need any stuff like that. Good bloke, really wanted to help. But it was actually Margaret behind the counter at Tide Power who rang another bloke that's out of town called Laszlo's, uh, giving as much work as possible if you're down there saved my bacon, had me going, 24 hours to fix my car, uh, 24 hours and two weeks is a lot of difference. Um, he was willing to see the situation of how far away we were from home and help us out. Uh, top bloke too, uh, really good man, and I can't thank him enough, enough really. Um, Although, you know, it was nice to sort of hang around the area for a while. Uh, two weeks was way over my uh, time off work. So, anyway, thank you, thank you, thank you. And you guys, if you're out there and you need something fixed, I'd be going straight to that man. Legend. There's two legends in the area. <laughs> anyway. Enjoy the rest of the track. I'm actually on a different trail now. Um, 
pit straight down into the flats. And yeah, it's very scenic. It's not a tough track, but you know, it is rutted out. It doesn't really show on the video. Um, it's quite rough in there. But easily done, full drive. You know, I've only got a two inch lift in my Land Cruiser, so yeah. Just take it easy. And uh, I'll put up another episode of other huts and stuff very soon. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Send me messages, comment. And it'd be great to hear from you.